Um, we had a, a group, and this would have been um, going back to the mid 90s, late 90s. Yeah, mid 90s to late 90s. It's kind of funny, without even trying, I listen to the record and I hear the influences that we had when we were 19. It's sort of we naturally find ourselves kind of going to that, to that place. Yes. Yeah. So there's sort of a language that we There is like a place and a language that, that we share you know I mean? from that. Yeah, like certain certain musical things, like certain vampy things, certain way to like kind of... We're playing music that has chords, but at the same time, like we often kind of go with different variations on those chords. Yeah, I guess like listening and trusting each other and just trying to... It goes off, we go off on little tangents uh, with the tunes. Well, per, the, all the compositions are either Greg's or Jerome's. They they are definitely have each is each person's uh, fingerprints on them as composers, but they're not too dis dissimilar. That it's just like the band suddenly goes you know splits apart when it's Greg's tunes or Jerome's tunes. And, and they and they're very uh, giving with the leader roles. It's it's it really is a 50-50 type deal, and even more sometimes not even 50-50, but but uh, it becomes. Uh, you know, everyone has kind of an equal role in, in how the music is is uh, interpreted. A lot of attention to details, mel playing melodies, how to phrase this melody, where is this note, um, and that's really important, you know. And also the sound of the recording, which a, an incredible amount of detail was put in um, to record the band in a very pure, acoustic, analog way. I think that with all of our sort of highbrow recording process and super analog, direct, in the room, no edits, all that business, is really just trying to remove as much stuff between the emotion that we are experiencing and the emotion you are hopefully going to experience as a listener. Yeah, I think that's a really good way of putting it. It's, it's like, I think a lot of the stuff in modern recording gets in the way. You think I'm, you probably think I'm exaggerating. Well, we need to like, someone like now. Can, we, can we put a photo up on this EPK? Can we like show, yeah, yeah, we have to edit this and it's, it's rough. I mean, to be fair, like my look wasn't exactly rocking either, but like mm. still, still it was grim. I don't know who posted it. I think Jerome may have posted it, but uh, it's funny because they don't look that different, you know, maybe um, the different hairstyles maybe, but. Uh, Great. And I had those big ass glasses that like. It was like a long, you know, the big glasses that were like <laughs> bottle thick. Whew. I think they've, uh, they've, uh, you know, come and grown into their themselves very, very uh, gracefully. <laughs> there, I haven't seen too many battles <laughs> this band so far. It's pretty. It's a good collective spirit, and and the leaders are, um, uh, are doing the right thing. <laughs>